The resharpening of combs and cutters is a huge thing in the shearing industry. From, from a day-to-day -day basis, it helps you retain longer life with your shearing gear, obviously not using more, and also in your ability to control sheep all day. If you've got blunt gear, you're going to be fighting, fighting your sheep all day. So in this, Heininger have developed a new grinder, and it comes with everything you need, a hard case, cover, plates. It also comes with this grinding radius gauge as well as it comes with a, a pendulum in a hard carry case with all the safety gear you need in there, goggles, earmuffs. The, the grinder and pendulum both come with instructions. With this you nail them to the wall where you're grinding and if you make any changes at all with your grinding, have keep faith in it and at least grind your, your gear three times to get the full result out of what you've done. When it comes to setting up your grinder. First of all, we make sure it's unplugged. Second, the second thing we do is we've got to raise these pendulum arms up. So all you do with that is make sure they're unscrewed, lift it into place, then do them up firmly. Secondly, we, we set, set the grinder up for the right width off the disc. We grab the comb, put it on the pendulum. There's another adjustment here for your width. We put the pendulum on there and hang your comb on the disc. What we've got to do now is make sure that comb is about a match stick thickness off the top of the disc. So when we push that comb against the disc, it hits heel first and then onto the tips. So by doing that, we just bring it out a bit. You can see that comb's touching first and then pushing up on the tips. About a matchstick thickness there. That's touching heel first. That's the correct position. Then we tighten the setting up. The next thing that we've got to adjust is the actual height of where you're going to grind. We grab our radius gauge. Mount it onto the pendulum. Put your comb on. Now what we've got to do with this gauge to get your comb at the right height so it gets your hollow running straight through the middle of your comb to get the optimum cut is to adjust it so that red line runs straight through the centre of your nut on the finishing position. So that's where you finish your grinding. Tighten your pendulum up. Now we're ready to grind. We need safety glasses on and also a set of earmuffs or ear plugs. Before we start the grinder up, just have to make sure the discs are tightened up firmly and the way we do that is first of all make sure the disc is not spinning. Hands on there and just move it back and forth. Also, we've got to make sure that that paper is stuck on correctly. Now, a little bit of moisture or something like that, or if you haven't used it for a day or two, moisture can get under them papers and they can lift. So by just running your fingers around and tapping it, you can hear if there's any bubbles. Change your paper immediately if, if any bubbles occur. Before we start, we've got to make sure it's smooth around the outside the cutting edge. Because when we grind, we run off the disc with the comb. What we're trying to do when we're grinding is using the full width of the paper. And the reason why is 
because if we, we grind in the same spot too many times, or as soon as we start doing that, we actually cut the paper out, so it's not a dead flat paper. So when you grind, for instance, say if we, we grind on the middle here a lot without going right out, we end up with this paper being worn and the outside paper not being worn. Before I start the grinder up, you can see if we put the comb on the edge of the nut, it's two full comb widths makes your comb hang out two or three teeth. So to do that, to grind the whole disc, we've actually got to come out over the edge of the disc and back in. So we're using that whole disc the same amount of time. This will give you a longer paper life. Using good firm pressure, come on, go to two to three teeth off, back to the centre, two to three teeth off, back to the centre, and using good firm pressure, come back out to where you'd set the pendulum and snap it off. You can see this comb, the edge of the comb is quite round. This, is, this comb's obviously not up. So we regrind it. And after we regrind it, make sure all these edges are sharp. They come to a straight edge. And along with our perfect hollow that we've got through from the radius line, it'll give you the optimum cut. Right now we come to grind the cutters. First of all, we make sure we change our pendulum around to the cutter side. Another thing, we make sure the pendulum face is free from any dirt and grime, which can be on your bench as you're grinding. First thing we're gonna do is to set up the width off the disc with your pendulum. So we undo the nut. We grab a cutter, and what we're aiming to do is that cutter wants to hit the disc perfectly flat. So the way we get that is just get your cutter, rub it across the disc, and inspect it. We want it to be hitting perfectly flat, so we look for the marks on the grinder, as we, like the marks on there, as we're grinding across, to make sure they're hitting all the four sides. Once that this is in place, we do the top hanger up and recheck it. Obviously, if your cut is dragging, grinding on the bottom when you do that, you've got to push that top pin in. If it's drag, rubbing on the top, you pull it out. All this, meanwhile, has to be done with the grinder turned off. We're nearly ready to grind. The next thing we look at is we've got to get our height right. It's exactly the same as the other side. We've got to set our radius line to the middle of the hole where we finish off grinding. We adjust that line with the pendulum approximately 25 millimetres from the outside edge of the disc. Now we come to grind, same as the other side. We check if the, the make sure the paper's tight with no bubbles on it. Make sure the edge of the paper has got no bits or chunks hanging out of it. Start the grinder up. What we want to do here, because the disc, the, the cutter is a little bit narrow in the comb, we want to use that full width of the disc Start from the centre. Pull it straight off. After we finish grinding the cutter, we've got to make sure that, that all the edges are up. The tip, as well as down the sides. 
and it's the same method. Use a good white light and roll it around and look for any white edges. And also make sure it's got that little bit of feathering on your tips. If it hasn't feathered, obviously it hasn't ground up to there yet. It's a good practice to check every cutter. You can never emphasise how much a good cut is worth in the shearing industry. I've been world champion twice and without getting a good cut I would have never got there. So one thing, if you look after your gear with pride and take note of, of the grinding practices and get that right, you're going to enjoy the industry and take pride in your tools and look after them and you'll go a long way.